Hello everyone, this is Scott from the .com. Today we'll be looking at ILO System Mechanic Professional uh, 14.6. I reviewed this thing about last time, uh, last year, and it was because I'm we're going to be doing another giveaway with them, which I'll explain in the next video. But I'm going to go through this and see what's changed. Um, the first thing that I've really noticed is the program's user interface it's pretty much the same which is pretty abysmal it's not as nice looking as say like advanced system care which I can pull up for you right here it just doesn't fall in with modern standards but this is super clean navigations at the top super easy to follow Navigations on the side using older styles. I, I definitely feel like they still need to improve the user interface. It looks like they've tried to, but it just doesn't still feel like it's appropriate for this day and age. Um, let's go into the options menu first of all, and let's explain something. Then. The safety net. Um, these you can pretty much leave all of these settings the default. The active care will automatically care of your computer, of course. Live boost will automatically boost your computer in an appropriate manner. It even plays a little sound when power sense mode changes. Sounds pretty freaking epic. <laughs> uh, the dashboard, all the alerts will be shown on the dashboard. The boot time, uh, boot time actions are going to assault the tools that defragment the reg registry and the defragment files at boot time. Uh, we've seen this exactly in advanced system care is nothing new to us general these are just m minor settings for the program itself now let's actually get into the fun stuff I'm gonna click analyze it's scanning registry doing all that jazz looking for junk that's probably not needed startup items uh, the program comes with an additional anti-malware and firewall service I did not install that because it's not that great of an anti-malware service um, I feel like though it could be a nice little secondary standard. So it says I have 848 megs of uh, junk. That's quite possible. You have one unnecessary startup item. Um, I can't see what that startup item is, which is kind of annoying. The registry has never been backed up. That's a minor thing. Your internet configuration is not optimized for max speed. I don't like how I can't get what's I can't actually see what it wants me to, what it wants. I'll clean I'll let it clean the registry cuz that's never really an issue. Oh, I can inspect the problem now. Oh god, this feels like a blast from the past. This is like Windows XP style. Um valid uninstallers current version yeah, I probably won't even let it uninstall things. Yeah, we won't do any of that nonsense. Uh, let's see what the startup item is. Inspect the problem. The Java scheduler. That can actually be turned off. I don't really care about Java. In fact, I don't even know why I still have it on this computer. Um, let's review this. It recommends, I, it says I can keep it off or keep it on. Virtually no impact. Use your choice. Thirteen percent turn it off. The Adobe Acrobat update service. Google Chrome most turn it off because it's a pain in the ass. Um, I'll, like, two Google update services. That's really weird. Uh, live update for iobit. The last pass toolbar can start. It's basically got no impact whatsoever. Windows search. Most people keep it on. Um, it's definitely a little bit better than what I remember. I don't like it. I have to keep doing that loading screen <laughs> on every analysis update, which is kind of annoying. And if we go back, it says my system performance is fair. Let's go and do check out the automated tasks. Um, we can defragment and compact the registry automatically, which tip typically you don't need to do that much, and doing it too frequently may not be good for your hard drive. It could wear it out, uh, but the program probably is intelligent enough. See, this task is designed to run as needed, so it probably has a system that says if it's blah 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 percent defragmented, then run. This is normal behavior, but may occasionally prolong your system startup. 
that that's fine I would recommend turning this on um, I don't know what the exact percentage is I'll probably actually ask about that when I do a write-up of this video but for the most part it seems to be very intelligent with how it does things it just has a really bad user interface the real-time status maximum real-time status 100% responsiveness optic core yeah I have eight cores uh, Intel Core i7 4790K CPU at 4.0 gigahertz. There, there, there's nothing this thing could really do to improve my. <laughs> there's nothing it could really do to improve it. Partial real time boosting on Ramjet. Uh, apparently they're all on by default. I, I'm not really noticing any difference. This is interesting. Drives accelerate speeds up the disk I/O and prevents fragmentation right as files are written. That is actually really smart. I've never seen that before in a program. Um, when a program downloads, remember how I've explained: if something large downloads, like a video game, and everything is sent, it's downloading a ton of files, small, sometimes small, minor ones, sometimes large patches, they can get out of place. This basically prevents it from getting out of place in the first place. That's really intelligent. I've never seen a program offer that before. Um, I haven't downloaded anything, but apparently some things have been written to probably Bandicam and some other things that I have running in the background. Uh, as far as the memory thing, though, I'm not really seeing uh, any major thing. 17.2726 gigabytes cached and 11.0... I'm not really noticing much of a difference with this nonsense. But, um, configuration power sense dynamically it senses your processor needs when launching high demand apps. That might be actually pretty useful for me because <laughs> sometimes I'll use like programs that are extremely CPU intensive and my fan in there will like kick on and it goes because it's trying to cool the thing down as that processor is a beast. Um,. A lot of interesting features that I've not necessarily seen. Power sense, you can configure the built in modes here. Gaming, recent activity, the anti malware. Windows Defender detected. I'm not even using Windows Detect, Windows Defender. I don't know how you're detecting it. In fact, my antivirus isn't even turned on. But whatever floats your boat. Firewall, Windows Firewall enabled. That's good. Now we can look at the toolbox. The toolbox is definitely not as large as Advanced System Cares, but it's basically the exact same features that the program already offers. It just allows you to do a one-click one. And then you have individual tools, which has a lot more stuff. But for now, we'll just look at the all-in-one. The PC Accelerator, it runs by running multiple, tr multiple performance enhancing and speed boosting tools at once. Let's do something simple like we'll just run a PC repair, see if it finds anything. Probably won't. Repair registry problems. That is interesting. Ah. Uh, it just wants to, de you know, delete registry items. Okay. That's not really useful. Uh, PC cleanup again finds the junk that I don't want to get rid of. Total registry revitalizer. Keep the registry clean, organized, and free of errors with this powerful all in one solution. That sounds pretty awesome. Let's click it. Back up the registry, repair the registry, and then defragments it. Literally, this is the same stuff as the original one-click tool. I'm not really seeing the point of it being in two places. It's kind of redundant. The individual tools. This is where things are a little weirder. This again feels extremely outdated from user experience from UI. Um, it's just very bad. Startup optimizer, memory mechanic, these are literally the exact same tools that you have in every other section of this. Um, but you do get some interesting things like the privacy ones. You can privacy clear, the incinerator, and the drive scrubber, which will completely obliterate everything. The manage system configuration, startup process, super control, super control panel. Well, that just sounds awesome. Oh. That's not uh, that's that's not even new. Okay. That ever floats your boat. Advanced uninstaller, same thing as IO bits uninstaller. Duplicate file inspector. 
it's it's very 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 similar the only, oh recover deleted information that's actually a handy tool because I personally have deleted a lot of stuff that I wish I didn't was it a little late to do that probably um, this is really handy recover emails from Netscape mail who the hell uses Netscape um very it's not a 100% perfect tool I I really truly wish that from the time of last year to this year they would have given a better user interface I'm looking through this and it just doesn't feel natural as I scroll through it it has a ton of useful tools some that I might actually wish that advanced system care had and some of the other uh, piece optimizer tools but I can't get over the user interface and how it feels like Windows XP Windows Vista style I mean Windows 10 just came out today and this thing still feels like it's several years out of date um, I love the features great features ton of features um, fix security vulnerabilities this probably checks for Windows updates registry backup it's just got a lot of useful and good features I don't know much about their anti malware service um, that comes with the pro version I don't know what it was it had an option to install their anti malware service the anti spyware I turned it off during the installation so I can't vouch or say that it was a that it is a bad anti malware service but what I can say is typically these all-in-one tools have very poor pro, uh, implementations even advanced system care and their uh, their antivirus it just does extremely poor so I vouch for the program as far as its usefulness it's got a lot of good features it's pretty spot-on with everything it it's consistent with what it says it's got like everything down to the point about my computer um, it's got a, g a lot of good tools again I still urge that it should be updated before well before the end of the year that'd be nice you know because last year I pointed out the exact same thing and it's still the same user interface basically copy I well I shouldn't say copy what they should do is they should look at other programs advanced system care Baidu PC cleaner things like that which are coming into the market and gaining a lot of traction and see their user interface which is a lot more elegant than say this because I can find everything in here because of this little menu but it's a lot easier when it's separated by their tabs and it's all organized in an easy fashion it's more clicks to do it this way maybe but it's more organized and that's what this program needs to work on um, if you are in the market for to pay for some sort of PC optimization um, I would give system mechanic professional a try I would at least run it against like ABG PC tune-up and uh, see if one makes a difference over your computer over the other one and then let me know what you think about it I guess one other thing we can test is this thing says I have 307 registry problems. We'll run IOBits registry error and see which one finds more problems. Um, the severity of the problems might differ, but when it comes down to it, they should find a very similar number, or that would at least be ideal. 264. It seems it's found more registry errors than advanced system care. This one's got, let's see, invalid application folders. Ah, uh, that's not really an error, but that's fine. Invalid uninstallers, that's basically the same thing as this. Um, invalid file association types. Those are all Windows ones, so I'm a little iffy on that one. Invalid com references. It 
they both find basically the exact same file types, uh, the exact same errors. Advanced System Care definitely found different ones that are in different categories. This one focused more on the software side of things. This one focused more on the, I wouldn't say software, but just the junk in the registry. This one found more junk. This one found more like pointless ones. Like, I wouldn't say that they're both a junk because this one found invalid application folders. It found a lot of useless things and as did this one. This one found a lot more in the extensions, file extensions and the MUI, MUI cache. I don't know. I'd pin the two programs essentially equals. Um, I'd still continue to use advanced system care over ILO system mechanic um, even though even though ILO technically found more errors I just do not like the fact that its user interface is so out of date let me know what y'all think in the comments below and make sure to check out the next video where we'll be giving away three keys to ILO system mechanic professional and the giveaway options will be a lot easier this time around so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the next video and make sure to drop a comment and like and make sure you check out our friends at over at ILO and let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.